The initial uh, investigation is saying that uh, the drone took an, a, a possibly a, a, by a, a deliberately a misleading route. If it came from Yemen, it did not fly straight from Yemen uh, to Israel, meaning it would access from the south, but first traveling through uh, Africa, through Egypt, and then coming into Israel through the Mediterranean Sea. The site where we are, the site where uh, the drone hit is very close to uh, Tel Aviv's Mediterranean uh, coast and uh, the initial investigation says that uh, the Air Force was actually in surveillance of uh, this drone for quite some time but as it was coming from the west from the sea this is a, 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 a direction from which threats do not usually come it was a misleading route uh, uh, pro probably a deliberately a deliberate misleading route and uh, it would not be surprising if uh, this specific place where it hit was also deliberate we're just meters away from the Tel Aviv branch of the American embassy the Houthis this way sending a message not only to Israel but also to the United States the ICJ is, is saying is that Israel may have not officially done it but on the ground its uh, its uh, actions are actually a, a form of annexation saying once again that uh, the Israeli settlements in uh, the West Bank and also in East Jerusalem which is very harsh for Israel they are illegal they should be disbanded and uh, basically saying the ICJ the, the the bottom line is that the Israeli occupation in the West Bank and East Jerusalem should come to an end. By 11 votes to 4, is of the opinion that the State of Israel's continued presence in the occupied territory is unlawful. By 11 votes to 4, is of the opinion that the State of Israel is under an obligation to bring to an end its unlawful presence in the occupied Palestinian territory as rapidly as possible. I would expect some very harsh reactions uh, on, on behalf of uh, Israel. This is a very harsh report when it comes to Israel. Uh, not surprising, uh, Israeli authorities were expecting uh, these kinds of words, but when you hear them from an official uh, body such as the ICJ, obviously this is not something easy for Israel to accept.